Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Kefla from Dragon Ball Z. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw the upper eyelid. So we're starting on the outside, we're going to curve in and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside of the eye. We're going to curve up and then out. From the outside, I'm going to draw two angled lines coming down and in. Now let's connect the outside to the inside with a straight line going across. Now we're going to tuck two small half circles underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down, leaving a small gap along the bottom. And we'll pull that up. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's go in and fill the pupils in black. Now we're going to add some eyelashes along the top and the side of the eye. So let's start on the left side. We're going to draw two angled lines coming down towards the top of the eyelid. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw three along the side of the eye. Starting from the top, we'll step down, draw an angled line. We'll do that three times. In between the eyes, we're going to step down and draw a straight line from top to bottom of the nose. Now from the bottom, we're going to draw two angle lines going out. And then from the left side, we're going to draw an angle line going up towards the top of the nose. Directly below the nose, we're going to draw a curve for the mouth, starting on the left, curve down, and then back up on the right. Now let's go back up and give her some eyebrows. So we're going to start on the left side, just above the eye, we're going to follow that same curve coming down and in. Pull that into right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Then from the inside, we're going to draw two short angle lines going up and in. Now we're going to taper this over towards the top of the eyebrow, going up, and then just thinning that out as we go towards the outside. We're going to fill that in black. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right, starting from the inside. Now let's fill that in black as well. From here, we're gonna draw two large hair bangs coming down the side of the head. So in the center, we're gonna step up, start with a point. From this point, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center and curve up and out towards the right. From here, we're gonna curve out just around the side of the eyebrow and down the side of the head. Starting on the left, out, around the eyebrow, and we'll pull that down. Now from the center, I'm going to draw a straight line going up. Now I'm going to draw two larger curves going out. Starting with the left side, going out and up. Go to the center and do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to take these ends, curve out, and then down towards the bottom point of the hair bang. Now let's draw on the hairline. From this point, we're going to curve up and out underneath the hair bang on the right. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. Let's add a little bit of texture to the inside. We take this curve, step out, and draw that twice. Do the same thing on the right. We're going to tuck the outside of the head underneath the hair bang. So on the left side of the eye, we're going to angle down and in towards the same height as the mouth. We're going to do the same thing on the right. From the jaw, we're going to angle down and in towards the chin. So from the left side, we're going to angle in underneath the mouth. Now we're going to round out the chin. Round this out and go back up on the right side. Let's draw in the earlobes underneath the hair bang in behind the head. So on the left side, we're going to curve down and pull that in. Now let's add the earrings. The bottom of the left earlobe, we're going to draw a small circle. We'll do 
the same thing on the right. And we're gonna draw a smaller circle at the bottom of the earlobe. And then just below here, we're gonna draw a slightly larger circle, starting at the top. And do the same thing on the right. And then along the top, from left to right, we draw a slight curve coming down and then back up. Now let's go up and draw in the rest of the hair. We start with the center spike first. So along the top of this hair bang, we curve up and over towards the right, towards the tip. Now we're going to taper that back down over on top of the right hair bang. On the left side, we're going to curve one over towards the left. Starting on the side, Curve up, and then just pull that down. And we're gonna curve this back down in beside the side of the hair bang. Coming down, and then in. On the right side, we're gonna curve this upward. So we're gonna line this up, curve out, and then up. Now we're gonna taper this back down towards the side of the hair bang. Let's add two more spikes along the side. So underneath the spike, curve out, and then down, and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line this up, curving out, and then down, and then taper this back in the side of the hair bang. On the right side, we're gonna add one smaller spike coming down. So about halfway along this curve, we go out, and then down, and then curve that up, and then in behind the hair bang. In between these two spikes, we're going to add one spike going over towards the left. So let's start on the left side, coming up, and then over. Now we're going to pull this down on top of the spike, coming in, and then down. We're going to add one large hair spike in the center. So at the top here, we're going to curve up and over towards the right. Now we're going to pull this in and down on top of the spike here. Let's add one smaller spike in between these two here. So starting on the right side, we're gonna curve out and up. We'll taper that back down on top. Now in this area, you're gonna curve one going upwards. Starting at the top here, we're gonna curve over. And we're gonna taper this back down in behind the main top spike. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. So we're gonna start with the top of the shoulder first. So on the left side, I'm gonna angle out and down toward the left. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're gonna have the arms folded in front of the body. So from the shoulder, we curve out the side of the arm and then pull that back in towards the elbow. Do the same thing on the right. Now the left arm is gonna be on top of the right. So starting from the elbow, we go across and we're just gonna pull that up. Now we're gonna draw on the top of the forearm. So from the bottom of the arm, we're gonna step up, curve up over that line and just pull that out so there's a little bit of an overlap. And then from the right elbow, we're gonna tuck this in underneath the left arm, going across and then up. On the left side, we're gonna draw on the right hand on top of the left arm. So from the elbow, we're gonna round this out and then just pull that back in. At the top of this finger, we're gonna round out the tip, curve over again, and we're gonna do that one more time. Moving around, and we're gonna pull that in behind the top of the left arm. From the edge of the shoulder, we're gonna curve in and down behind the arms. Starting on the left, come in and down. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Just below the head, we're gonna draw the edge of the collar. So from the top of the shoulder, we come down below the chin, and we'll curve that back up on the right side. Now we're gonna add in the armband. On the right side of this arm, we're gonna curve out and then down. We're gonna step underneath this hand and draw that same curve, going over towards the right and then down. On this side, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. From the elbow, we'll step in, curve in, and then down. Now let's draw on the lower part of the body underneath the arms. So on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the hip. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're going to connect those two points with a curve for the top edge of the pants. Now I just want to draw on the bottom of the shirt underneath the arms. So underneath the left arm, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right. 
In the center at the bottom here, we're just gonna draw one short line coming down from the belly button. From the center, we're gonna step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then back down for the lower torso. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out, and then down towards the left heel. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we're gonna curve down and then back up towards the toe. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From the left toe, I'm going to curve the top of the foot and then just come down. We're going to aim towards the heel, so coming down to right about there. From here, I'm going to angle up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down to right about there. Now we're going to angle up and in. Now from the hips, I want to curve out the side of the leg on top of the foot. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to go out and then just pull that in. At the top of the foot, I just want to draw the top edge of the band. So we're going to step up, curve down, and back up. Same thing on the right. Now we're going to add the top of the boot. About halfway down the leg, I'm going to angle up and in. And then from here, we're going to curve down and then across towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Angling up, curve down, and then in towards the inside of the leg. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Kefla from Dragon Ball Z. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.